All right, this is HD of HDNationOnline.com, and I'm here with KE on the track. What's the normal day for KE? Uh, the normal day for me is to wake up and go straight to the studio, really. He can go to the studio, and I'll probably stay there for, like, a good 12 hours and then probably 12 or 13 hours, and after that, I just, you know, do whatever. Either go chill or go party or whatever. That's pretty much every day. All uh, right, how would you describe the work ethic? Um, I don't know. I try. I describe my work ethic as a, uh, as Lil Wayne. Like I call it the Lil Wayne work ethic. Like Wayne will never fall off because he works too much every single day. He doesn't let a day go by where he's not being productive, and that's why he stays on top. You know, and you only have so many people that actually actually do that. So I describe my work ethic as Lil Wayne work ethic. That's all I like to call it. Speaking of Young Money, um. Then you get a track with uh, Nikki Dunn? Oh, yeah. You know, um, the girlfriend track. I actually did a couple more. But that the girlfriend and track didn't, leave the, um, didn't make the album because it got leaked or whatever. But, I mean, we still working. We got some other stuff. How'd you link up with her? How'd y'all link up with her? Because I, I, um, it was through the email. It was weird. Somebody, uh, somebody actually, I can't remember the name. I think it was a nigga named B who actually works over there at Young Money. He just shot it to me, and, you know, it was like, both of y'all should link up or whatever. So, so I just sent her some beats, and then we just went from there. You know, later on, we, we met later after we um, after she recorded that girlfriend, and we did some other stuff. How did you get your start? So I was in Valdosta, but um, I used to come to Atlanta, like, every... It was, like, two and a half years ago. I used to come to Atlanta, like, every weekend, just passing out. Uh, me and L.A., boom, man, you know what I mean, passing out. My beat CDs, everybody and go, hitting, going studio after studio, passing out just beat CDs. But I went to Charlotte Lowe's studio, and I was I gave him a beat CD, but he he like I guess he didn't like it or whatever. He wasn't really messing with it. But like one of his homeboys that went rapping at the time, but that wanted to rap, named uh, Jay Money, he actually took the CD and just started recording on some of the beats. We did, you know, he did the first name, last name. Yeah, the streets a lot with that futuristic movement. That's, that was my way of actually just breaking in the game. Right. Then later on, that's why surfing came. All right, so what's uh, some new some new current projects you're working on? Yeah, if you go on hotnewshiphop.com, you can actually see uh, a lot of the stuff that actually posted on there. The new uh, little Chucky. Um, me and Sean Kingston are actually working on, um, you know, shots out here. I'm waiting on them to get better so we can finish up our projects. Um, Soldier, um, Jabbar. That's so I got Wale's new single. It's called 911. You can check me out on Gorilla Zoe's new um, album. Me and Chris Brown got some more stuff coming out. Um, the Chris Brown All Off record I did is going to be on the same bonus album. Uh, you know, I'm just working. I got a lot of um, pop, R&B, and rap stuff coming out. Me and Future, pretty much everybody in Atlanta. All right. So we're just working. Like, uh, who do you want to work with in the future you haven't worked with yet? I don't know. I think I think mainly the big uh, like Justin Bieber. It is weird. I haven't worked with Gucci yet. Like I, he got featured on almost ten of my beats, but I haven't actually had one song with him. Um, and pretty much, you know, I'm not really picky at that at this point. It's just anybody who's actually buzzing, who who has a name for this stuff, who actually is just working. So. Uh, matter of fact, what's some uh, new artists coming up that's that's catching your ear? Some of the, I mean, I I think one of the newest artists that's coming up is uh, that's catching my ear is Future. Like, you know, his his stuff's real hot. You know what I'm saying? So he's coming up fast or whatever. So that that's who that's who I've been going in with a lot lately. So I, I feel like he's gonna be next to blow. You know, and of course, Boo Man. You know his music. You got any advice for up and coming producers trying to trying to break into the game? Uh, yeah, shoot, just uh, work, work hard. Hard work always pays off, no matter what you're doing, you know? So just listen to the sounds, listen to what's going on, you know? Stay relevant and just work hard. What do you want to be remembered for when the game, when when, the, when it's all said and done and you retire or, or whatever? Uh, just one of the best producers, you know, one of the best to ever do it. That's my goal, that's what I strive for every day. That's what I put it how many hours into so that's what I want to be known for alright um, I guess let the fans know where they can reach you online yeah you can hit me up on um, twitter.com slash ke on the track or uh, beat promos at gmail.com hey what's good it's ke on the track man y'all listening